up you guys and welcome back to another video what it's been almost like 10 months since I've uploaded thank you to everyone who's checked in on me asking how I'm doing when I'm gonna upload next um, you guys have been awesome but I've been super busy obviously I'm in another space right now some of you might be familiar with it um, we're at Pimmin Industries 700,000 subscribers on YouTube a bunch of automotive enthusiasts just like me um, I'm not in my garage, but I'm in front of the wheel wall because I took a job here as the FI marketing manager about eight months ago or so now. So I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but I'm back. It's going to be better than ever because I have the help of the team here. A bunch of awesome enthusiasts. I'm going to have awesome content, not just on the channel, but on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me on Instagram at Jake Spence. Quick little plug. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show you guys this and get back into uploading again. I know you're here for the BMW content. We're gonna put a new set of wheels on the 335 today, and we're gonna check out the 135 and see how that's doing. So be sure to stay tuned. So anyways, um, we're on the way home now to install those new wheels and check out the 135. But while we're driving there, I figured we could do a little drive and talk because it's been a while. Um, I know in the past, a ton of you have asked what I do for work, what's my job, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've been doing e-commerce and marketing for years and it just so happens Fitman Industries was local to me this whole time um, so I've been watching their channel familiar with the guys over there and it just made sense to move from doing e-commerce and marketing for an engineering company a couple B2B businesses over to the automotive industry so I've been able to combine like my work and play together for the first time ever and it's been awesome and obviously like I said I haven't uploaded in a while as you see I'm driving the silver 335 which uh, I installed downpipes on I've got full bolt-downs and a tune on this thing as you saw in my last video which was a while ago um, but now I'm starting to tackle the exterior of this car like I said I got wheels tires suspension Fibon Industries and uh, a bunch of aftermarket body parts. I got an M Sport front bumper on the way, a little carbon fiber uh, rear spoiler, a carbon fiber front lip. So this daily should be rocking. I still have the 135. The reason I haven't really been driving it, posting about it, talking about it, anything is because it's given me a headache. There's some sort of gremlin going on with that car that I cannot figure out and the motor has started to make a little noise on the top end. Um, I don't know the details of it yet, but that's what we're gonna try to dive into. I wanna show you guys what's going on. Maybe one of you guys can help me out. But in the meantime, on rainy days like today, we're driving 335 and I still have the M3 as well, which I know you guys, I was just starting to build that thing on the channel. A lot of you guys were saying, hell yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing that back and finishing off that whole build hopefully this summer so i have tons of content to make you guys just got to hold me accountable to making the content um, it's gonna be tough but i want to upload like once a week i'm shooting for once a week that's my goal um, but we'll see how that goes all right let's try to start the 135 it has been a hot minute um i don't know how she's gonna start but let's find out just fine until it warms up once it warms up it does not run very well so let's just let it warm up and see what happens Obviously all that water on the ground is literally just water condensation. It's not fuel or coolant or anything like that. It just hasn't ran in months. But like I said, the trims for bank one keep going almost to zero and it runs rough and then it comes back. Goes to zero, comes back where the bank two is 100% fine. Usually when this happens, I switch O2 sensors, change them out, everything's good. I did that and the problem still persists. So 
now I don't exactly know what to do. Last time I've driven it, the couple times where I've floored it, goes into limp mode, says misfire on a bunch of cylinders, um, and I just have not really had the time to dive into it. Um, but like I said, typically it's O2 sensors. Now I don't know what the issue is. So if you guys have any ideas, please drop a comment down below so I can get this thing fixed and get it back on the road again. guys what these are they're Koenig hexaforms in bronze we've got 18 by 10s in the rear 18 by 9s in the front this is definitely a different kind of wheel and tire setup than what I would usually go with but I wanted to try something new I think the bronze will pop with the beige interior and typically I go with like a boring apex wheel these are different and they're super light um, so for example I weighed this which is the rear wheel um, 18 by 10 with a 265 35 comes in at just under 44 pounds now that compared to the stock 18 inch sport wheel again this is the rear oh uh, 18 by I think nine or nine and a half comes in at almost 58 pounds so that's a 13 pound difference between the stock and the Koenig wheels times by four wheels on each corner that is a lot of rotational mass that we're saving with these wheels so they're super lightweight super strong and i went with continental extreme contact sport tires which is a performance tire meant to be driven in the summer now that this thing's making i gotta say at least 400 wheel horsepower with bolt-ons and a tune it needs the tire to hook up because it just boils these things anytime i ever give it gas and the best part is i got these through feminine industries who mount and balance tires that's included on any wheel and tire purchase for free, um, which is a super nice bonus so I didn't have to mess with this elsewhere. And I also got them ceramic coated because we offer that as well. First time ever getting wheels ceramic coated and I think it should keep the brake dust and grime off of these wheels. So let's go ahead and get them installed and see how they look. It's actually really flush, um, which is awesome because I've never seen these wheels on a BMW before. So uh, I picked these up myself. Nice to fit a nine in the front and a 10 in the back. I've got two 35, 40, 18s in the front and two 65, 35, 18s in the rear. So there is some wheel gap because it's got that thinner sidewall, but I do plan on lowering this thing. I got some BC Racing coilovers for it. Uh, which will be nice. I've never had BCs before, but I think these are the best bang for the buck. So uh, these will be definitely going in in a future video, but I'm faced with either modifying this or modifying that. I want to do both. I have parts for both. You guys know I still have a boatload of parts for the M3, but at the same time, I know a lot of you guys are driving 335. So. Um, drop a comment down below on what you want me to mod next. I've got coilovers, uh, a front bumper on the way, rear spoiler, front splitter. This thing should look pretty good. Um, and then for the M3, I've got the whole carbon fiber package, intake, charge pipes, diffusers, exhaust tips, down pipes, uh, the whole nine yards. So I want you guys' input on which route I should go, but let's go ahead and pull this thing out and see how it looks in the sunlight. it up obviously this was a different kind of video today so I want to know what you guys think about this format versus the selfie blogging do everything myself edit everything myself format this was super nice to have Adrian film and now edit this thing so we will see how it turns out 
but obviously this is how she looks. I think if we drop her down a little bit on those BC coils, it'll be perfect. And then we get that front bumper on and it's gonna look mint. Uh, I like it, it's definitely different. Um, but be sure to give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram, I'm like 70 away from 10K. So if I can get 70 of you guys who watch this to follow me on Instagram, I'll be at 10K. And then I will see you guys hopefully in about a week when I have the next video. Peace.